Hello first graders, this is Mrs. Greiner with Art Masterpiece. All right, how many of you have a pet? Yes? Well, at my house, we have two turtles, a fish, and a rabbit. What do you have? Think to yourself. All right, well, we're going to go back in time to Germany about 500 years ago and this is the time of the Renaissance. Before this people weren't really caring about art for a little while in Europe and as they started to think oh look at the great art and architecture and books and oh so much culture of like Greek and Roman times let's bring some of that back and make our cities beautiful with art and with more learning and learn more about science and the human body and the world around us. Well, our artist today, Albrecht Dürer, he loved animals. And he was one of the first and best during the Renaissance to really be able to make things look real and appreciate them almost scientifically. Almost like a picture because remember back then they didn't have cameras like we do. So let me show you our portrait of a young hare. Now a hare is similar to a rabbit, but this would be probably a, a wild hare found in the fields of Germany. And we're not sure if Dürer if he caught one and would look at it before he would try to paint, or if he had a stuffed one, or if he just looked at them outside, but he has so much detail. It looks like a photograph. You can see almost every hair on this hair. Ha ha. Those are two different spellings, huh? We know that he sketched the main outline of the animal and then he added layer upon layer and this is actually done in watercolor. You can see all of his whiskers and even still he is a this is a masterwork of what an actual hare would look like or a rabbit. Now I want you to think about our color wheel. Do you remember our color wheel? where we have red, orange, yellow, blue, green, purple, pink, red, all the way around. Do you see a lot of colors? Let's look again. I see mostly browns. But there's lots of different browns. In fact, we can see the light there we go. The light actually comes on the left and then we have more shadow on this side and even the shadow where he would be on the ground over here. See the shadow? So he's got the dark tips of his ears and even the claws are very sharp. No one's going to trim his nails, huh? Now you can see what year it was painted, 1502. Now, how many of you ever sign your artwork? Well, Albrecht Dürer, this is his special way of signing. It's a big A with a little D inside. I'm going to show you it bigger right here. This was, oh, now it's backwards, isn't it? That looks backwards. <laughs> it might even look backwards here. Oh, the fun. Just imagine our D going the right direction, since I have this on mirror. <laughs> and now, oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, I went zoomed in. All right, let's look at his self-portrait. This is our artist. He looks like he could have just walked into the room. 
Back then, the men often had longer hair, and men today are still wearing beards like that. But do you notice his clothes are different? And he has fur even on his coat. Maybe it was a cold day, but there's a lot of detail to his clothes. But he has the same signature, the A-D, and this was in 1500, so very close to the time that he did our painting about the hair. So, the next time you're doing some art, are you going to do an animal? Are you going to focus on making it look real? This one almost looks soft, like it could reach out and pet the hair. Or are you going to use really bright colors and make it look like a cartoon? I like to do cartoons and more realistic drawings. Are you going to do something in the natural world, like trees and flowers? Or are you going to do like a building? It could be a city skyscraper or maybe a car or a rocket ship. Who knows? But until next time, I will hope that you are enjoying art, drawing a lot, and thinking about history. Till next time, bye-bye.